Let's jump into some hot topics. Before we get into today's announcement, because Envy went on, Jerry came. Did you hear what Envy said? I was oh, like, what did Envy say? I don't know. I, what oh, happened? Man. Before we go into that, let's build up to it a little bit. We're kind of going to go uh, in reverse. And this is something that, you know, I, like I, it's, I feel like I'm always transparent, so I get to take things personal. I'm, I'll be honest about this one. So the other day I was talking to somebody. If she sees this, she knows who she is. And she was talking about possibly us working together. Da, 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 da. Call really didn't go well. And uh, one of the first things she said was, so what I what I do is I help D-boys get in money in real estate. And I said, wait a minute. Uh, okay. You teach drug dealers how to clean their money in real estate. And you want me <laughs> yeah. to teach you and them how to. I don't think that's going to work. Right. And I don't think, I hope, I'm giving her benefit of the doubt that, that she kind of like paraphrased it. And that's not, she didn't mean that. What she meant is she gives second chance people. Reform. Right. She needs to learn. <laughs> she got, yeah, I think she got excited because yeah. we was on, I'm giving her the fear, but it still sparked something that I thought, I knew we were going to have this show and I, and I wanted us to have this discussion. Uh, because with also within that discussion, and uh, again, if she watches this, she'd be like, oh, this is how he felt. Because I haven't talked to her since. I don't feel like it's a, a really a need for us to speak. And now this is public record. So what happens is, oh, you think you too good? Mm. Oh, wow. You you don't, oh, you you better than people from the, the she don't know nothing about me, obviously. Right. right. We've been friends for years. True. Mike, you want to share just a little uh, uh, have you ever been incarcerated? For sure, for sure. I've been incarcerated um, a few times. You know, I have a criminal record, um, but it was, you know, um, real estate was... So I have a type of criminal record where you can't fill out too many applications. I understand. Right? Um, that's why the DJ Envy and the Caesar Pena thing hits home personally for me because you kind of put a bad taste in people's mouth as far as investing with someone they might have a history like that right but real estate was the way that was able to change my family you know dynamic uh so i just wanted to clear the air and i feel like sometimes it's kind of corny, like you have to like defend yourself mm -hmm. but to me i don't like that's that's what the, the honest answer was about who's corny, who's not. Right. I don't think a specific group of people like anything right. one way, right? Right. It's the person. It's the person. It's the right. character. It's their choices. You know what I'm saying? Nope. We're not a monolith, right? So we have that discussion. And why I think that's important is because I want you to have the stage and I want you to get to say that. Because I did think about that. I was like, wow, so this dude went to jail. So anybody who's second chance, my pops, like that's why I'm Hussein Abdullah. Like my a lot of people notice some people may not like my pops went to jail before I was born, you know what I'm saying? Came right. home, never got in trouble in all, you know, rest in peace to my pops. Like right. people things happen. Sure. I'm not excusing Caesar at all. Right. We'll we'll get into that conversation. But I also think that we need to continue to provide platforms and opportunities for people to work. We employ multiple facts multiple That's people right. who came home and, and you know what i'm saying turn their life around and 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 we'll get to that later that's another podcast that we could talk just about that because right. that's systemic and it's systematic right, sure, that's sure. purposeful 100 percent. and we actually got a program coming out called from inmate to real estate where we're gonna train and teach people that come out of the prison how to get into real estate wholesaling specifically because Within real estate wholesaling, you can earn the large amount of money in a short amount of time. Now, you don't have to stay in real estate, but you can take those uh, proceeds from your assignment fee or whatever and then put it towards your trucking business or your, uh, you know, your barber school license or whatever the case, because those are kind of the um, categories that ex-offenders fall into, either cutting hair, driving trucks, things of that nature, right? trade things of that nature right so inmates of real estate you're gonna be seeing a lot of that soon all right let's go 100 